Ooh, sorry about the jacked up, everybody. Um, this is Sims Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 10, called Progeny. And we start off with the team rives in Kathnia, 2147. And they discover uh, Savage is a personal grooming um, Pierre Decaton, son of Tor, uh, on the ruler, because he's basically the ruler of this country. And so Rip reveals when uh, Pear rises to power, he will unleash a virus that decimates most of the planet and allows Savage to kill Purr and conquer the world. And so the team decides to remove uh, Purr from the timeline and prevent Savage's rise to power. The kidnapping does not go, uh, does not affect the timeline, so Rip releases um, Purr and implores him not to let Savage influence his decisions. Here's the thing, the kid is a brat. A certified brat. I'm just like, what is this kid even? First of all, you're like, I want to say maybe 11, maybe, and he's already acting like this, I'm be like, oh no, not, oh no. <laughs> So, um, I forgot, because uh, Rip was originally going to kill Purr, and he decided against him, tried to plead with them, but that didn't work. And we find out that, uh, when they let him go, and how he tried to, um, implores him not to do anything, he actually moves up the timetable and offs his dad, uh, right off the bat, which was crazy. Then, um, meanwhile, Ray finds his suits on uh, technology has been used to create um, ominous policing robots that Savage will use to help conquer the world, and that his family line was his brother, Sidney, who was a complete idiot, founded the company that created them. So basically what happens was they are... Focus. <laughs> we find out that Ray's stupid brother basically sold out his technology and that's how they created um all these robots because they originally run into i think like the great 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 granddaughter or whatever he thought it was his and he said that um back in 2016 there's this girl he was kind of seen but kind of not um so he thought it was his kid or you know ancestor but we find out it was actually his stupid brother and so, after selling his differences with Snart for the moment, Mick reveals that the Time Masters have released a group called Hunters, whose sole purpose will be will be to track down the team and kill each of them, including Mick, for his failure. But I just want to go back to where um, the finally the the ancestor realizes, oh, you're actually telling the truth, and you know they shut down all the robots and stuff. So then Mick tells them about that, and that's in the episode. So. I thought it was a pretty decent episode. I do like how it's future-based. I thought it was pretty cool. So, um, it's just the kid was just, really? I would think the dad or, you know, whoever would do something like that, but not the kid. Anyway, um, I'll give this a, I have like a B. That was pretty good. Why does the thing keep moving? Anyway, I thought it was a pretty okay episode. Um, like I said, it was just the whole kid thing. I was just like, Really? Really? Anyway, that's going to do for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just like, comment, subscribe. Any other suggestions, let me know down there. I will be diving into other shows soon. I will be knocking out, let's see, all of Supergirl, I hope. <laughs> uh, today's, oh, actually, this entire week's not free week, so I'll be doing a lot of videos, like a lot, a lot, so I'll be scheduling them out <laughs> so and i'll be throwing music in there every once in a while if a new track comes along i'll record it um my other songs that i've already listened to just doing reviews for because i enjoy the songs i feel like other people should hear the songs so i'll be doing that as well so and also be diving into anime as well so i hope you will stick around for those and i'll see you in my next video bye everybody